Welcome to the national announcement of the CMEX Hosting Australia Virtual Hosting Spectacular Competition. Tonight, from the hundred events you've received, the national champions in each class will be revealed by Brian Leslie. Since December, sub-branch and regional results have reached 103,000 people with over 21,000 video views, likes, comments and shares. On behalf of CMEX and Hosting Australia, congratulations to every member who embraced the competition, picked up a phone and sent in a video of their animal. Best of luck to the finalists. Well, firstly, I'd like to say it's a real privilege and honour to have judged the CMEX Hulston Australia Virtual Spectacular. Quite an amazing group of animals. I had uh, 90 different videos to look at of 90 different animals, and they're the first and second prize winners of each of their regions. And as expected, the quality was outstanding, but it blew me away. I just can't get over how good they were. Just marvellous, marvellous cows and heifers all the way through. They're an absolute credit to the people that own them, the people that have bred them. And it just augurs so well for the Holstein breed. And our first class is the two-year-old class, and it probably was the strongest class of the whole competition. 18 just magnificent two-year-olds that have just got everything we're looking for in the industry. Um, they're an absolute uh, pleasure to have judged and a credit to the breeders. But in our uh, top three placings, I think we've got three magnificent heifers and a beautiful white heifer that I've used in third, a heifer that just is so wedgy and clean and dairy and open framed and a beautiful, beautiful uttered heifer, a tremendous uttered heifer that's just got such a wonderful fore attachment. She's got that beautiful quality to her udder, tremendous size and shape of teeth, a great strong ligament. She's got that real drop to a rib, that real wedgy look to her, clean front end and deep fore rib. Beautiful topped heifer, a heifer that's quite outstanding in every way. I go with the second heifer, and the second heifer uh, uses a tremendous spring to a fore rib, a tremendous width through a front end to place over the third heifer, a heifer that is just so ultra dairy yet having all the power that I like in young cows. She looks like tons of milk to me and at the same time is very youthful. A uh, heifer that's long bodied and, and as I say, uses a depth and openness and spring of fore rib to place over the beautiful heifer we've used in we get into our top heifer, I think a heifer that's very complete, a heifer that's very, very hard to put a hole in, a heifer that I believe has an advantage over our second heifer is she's more snugger of a four attachment, she's smoother of a four attachment, stronger of a four attachment, and if you will, a little more shallow of a, of a rudder than the heifer that I've used in, uh, in our second place. She's also a heifer that's probably more correct through a rump structure and a loin structure, especially through the pelvis region than the heifer I've used in second. This first heifer's just got the ideal balance of strength and dearness. I love the flat bone that this heifer has, the openness that she has, the squareness of her frame, and that beautiful udder. She's an extremely good heifer, and I think we'll hear lots more of her. I could go on and on all day about these heifers, and certainly the three at the top are three magnificent heifers that are a credit to the Holstein breed, and more so a credit to their breeders. The three-year-old class was another outstanding class. Goodness me, just tremendous young cows and so productive. That was the thing that really hit me with these three-year-olds. Like they're on their second calf now and they're really firing on all fours. They're really productive cows. And of course, the type of them was quite outstanding. Another exceptional class. Marvellous young cow, this third cow, the white cow, just terrific depth of four ribbed. Oh, a tremendous rib right the way through. She's a wonderful shaped young cow. A beautiful, beautiful four udder to her. Um, a cow that really has just so much quality and, and she gets over a, well 15 other cows that were quite outstanding. Found it a tremendous pair, the second and third cow. And the second cow, oh, I just love this young cow. The power of it is, is really something to see. The spring of a fore rib and the power in the front end and the length of a body, the snugness of her udder. Uh, she's a stylish cow that really winds me up. She's a tremendous young cow, this second cow, and she uses spring through a fore rib. I felt our second cow just gave me a little more snugness of udder, if you will, maybe a little more desirable shape and size of rear teeth and a little more ligament today. Pair of marvellous, marvellous young cows. And then we get into the black cow that wins the class. Well, I don't know what more you'd want a young three-year-old. To my mind, she's just ringing wet, just so good. She just she winds me up. She's a marvellous young cow and I, I saw the first video of her and I thought, gee, you're good. And I went back and looked at her and looked at her a fair few more times and I really can't see anything you'd change about the cow. So what do I love about her? She's just as dairy as you'd ever get. She's tall, she's long bodied, 
She's got amazingly snug udder, but the thing that hits me with her udder is its width. It's tremendously wide. She gives me the ideal size and shape of teat and teat placement, width between those teats. Um, and this is where she wins over our two cows that follow her. I just think she's an exciting young cow. I wish the people that own her the very best in the future with her because she is just one of the finest young three-year-olds that I've seen on a video. Um, she's just a marvellous young cow. She just excels in dairy character and strength and width and style and a tremendous, tremendous udder. As I say, a marvellous young cow in second that excites me and a cow in third does too. Three magnificent cows. The four-year-old class is another amazing class of cows. It just, you know, the width and the capacity of this group of cows is something that excites me. Um, and of course, great other cows. Tremendous cows with dareness and strength right the way through, but a marvellous, marvellous class. The cow I used in third is a cow that's got a tremendous side profile. She's a big cow. She's got lots of length of body, as you'll see on the video. An amazingly square rump cow with a really snug udder. Uh, I think a tremendous cow that's got that wonderful balance of horsepower and dearness in the one package. I then move on to the second cow, who I believe is just an amazing uttered cow. And I would have, if I had to give an award to the best uttered cow class, I would give it to the second cow. It's a faultless udder. It's an udder that's just so snug. It's full of quality. You look at the veining on the udder, the texture of that udder, tremendous size and shape of teeth. Uh, I think hands down, she's the best uttered cow in the class. She has the advantage over our third cow because of that tremendous udder and quality to the udder. But our cow that wins the class is such a balanced cow. She's such a capacious cow. She's a cow that's got enormous width to her, enormous length to her, a beautiful, beautiful balance of strength and dearness. And she has an advantage over our cow in second. To me, she has so much more rib. She is deeper fore rib. She's more deep in a rear rib, having more wedge to her, I believe, today. And she is a cow that maybe, if I want to get really, really nitpicking, she might be a little more correct in a rump structure than our second cow. But a beautiful uttered cow in second, as I say, best udder of class. Um, but our first cow, the capacity, the length of body, the obvious milkability of the cow. And then her udder is right up in her. And it's so very wide. It's an udder that I like because it's got width and it's got snugness. And, and that's what we've been able to do with all these cows. They've got these marvellous udders that are right up in them. And yet they're so wide, which gives you lots of capacity. So they're cows that are pretty on the eye, but they're also extremely productive. But a wonderful group of cows with a really capacious, ultra dairy cow, yet powerful cow that wins the class. Well, this five-year-old class is unreal just an amazing just incredible dairy cows just and so productive like goodness knows how much production these cows are making these this is just where we need to be these are just incredible cows cows that are just so productive cows that are so good in the udder so capacious powerful pretty on the eye they they wrap it up for me this is a marvelous class of cows our third cow um this big dark coloured cow is just an amazing frame cow, an exceptional straight top cow, a cow that's got so much length of body and capacity, a uh, terrifically good four out of two, a cow that uh, really just has all the things you want in a great cow. We then move on to our second cow, this white cow. Wow, what an udder. Unbelievable uttered cow. And you'll see on the video, if you're looking at it, it's just up in her and it's just so full of milk and so wide and so snug. So I gave her an advantage over this wonderful cow in third on the size of a teat. She just got a little more length of teat to her for me. I'm getting critical, but we're at the top end of the breed here. Um, this second cow is just a super sharp, tall, upstanding, long-bodied cow that is just full of dareness and, and one of the greatest udders you'll wish to see on a cow. She has an advantage in size and shape of rear teat compared to our cow in third. We then move on to our cow that wins and... I came to the conclusion after looking at the 90 videos that I judged, she might have been the clearest winner of every class. This is just an absolute unbelievable cow, if you ask me. She's got an unreal udder. Just have a look at the height and the width of her rear udder, the snugness of her udder. I believe faultless teat placement, perfect. She's got them in exactly the right spot under each quarter. And then she's got that massive spring to a rib and 
tremendous wide rump and tremendous long body and ideal balance of dariness and strength like she just wraps me right up this is just one of the great cows that i've ever looked at on video really she's just a tremendous tremendous cow so she has an advantage over this wonderful cow in second on a depth of rib a tremendous capacity throughout she just has a little more capacity a little more openness to her a little more depth to her than our cow that's got a beautiful ladder in second and as i say our second cow ultra dairy having a little more desirable size and shape of teeth than the cow in third but three just absolute magnificent cows holstein australia should be proud of these cows these are world class and a credit to the winner i just think a magnificent cow the aged cow class or the mature class is always a highlight in these competitions, but this class is just quite incredible. I wrote on my notes, an unbelievable class. They're cows that have stood the test of time. They've made their owners a lot of money over a lot of lactations and they still look incredibly good. I, I'm just wound up about this class. I wish I would have been able to give more places than three, but these three are three incredible cows. And this third cow, what a beautiful dairy cow she is. A cow that has just got that delicate balance of strength and dairiness. A cow that I find is free of any fault. A cow that is beautiful through a top. Just look at a top line. She's as straight as straight. These cows are getting some age to them. And she's got an amazing top. She's a cow that's just so balanced through a rib. She's so open, so wedgy. A beautiful uttered cow, tremendous strongly a four attachment. A cow that's got that lovely flat bone, but enough strength and power. I find a wonderful, wonderful example of a mature Holstein cow. And I tell you, I could have found a heap of other cows to get real close to her, which I did, but something had to be third, and I figured this was the third cow of this class. A cow in second, what a capacity cow. What a cow in form. A cow that's got just so much fullness to a rib. She's so deep of a fore rib, so deep of a rear rib. A beautiful loaded cow. The video doesn't show me a rear view of this cow, but a cow that I'm sure has just got such quality all the way through. A cow that's just full of capacity, and she uses that capacity, the fullness of a rib, the, the width and power to the cow over that beautiful cow I've used in third. Tremendous cow, this second cow. A cow that is very youthful, a uh, cow that is, is, is looking like a lot of milk and, and tremendous capacity cow. And then we get into a cow that wins the class, by golly, she's a just flat out dairy cow. And that's what she is. She's, she's got that amazing width. She's wide pinned, she's flat thighed, she's deep ribbed, she's long geared, she's tremendously long necked. Really close to work our first and second cow, but for me, our first cow has a little more angle to her shoulder. She gives me a longer neck than our cow that I've used in second. And it's really that that places them apart. I think the length of her neck, the angularity through her front end, the wedginess of this cow is quite exciting. Uh, get in behind her and she gives me that wide rear udder, that extremely strong ligament, uh, an udder that sits between the flattest of thighs. I think she's just a mighty, mighty dairy cow that really does deserve our winning place of age cow. A marvellous, marvellous class. I'd just like to say that in concluding judging this competition, CMEX and uh, Holstein Australia should be very proud of conducting such. It's been a wonderful, wonderful showcase of some of the great Holstein cows and heifers in Australia. We know why it's done and out of some bad comes some good. And this has been a great thing for the industry to be able to showcase cattle from right across the country. And I tell you, the caliber of the animals that I judged in this competition is as strong as I've ever seen. Um, marvellous, marvellous animals that represented each age group. I've tried my best to pick out what I consider the three winners of each class, but I want to take nothing away from any of the animals that are in these competitions. It's just been quite amazing. And to the breeders, uh, I congratulate you all. Um, the way the breed's going, we say it every year, but it's true. They're getting better and better. And I believe that two-year-old class was quite amazing. Just incredible young cows. And, you know, I'm sure we'll hear lots more of all of these animals. But again, to the crew at CMEX, you've been wonderful sponsors of the on-farm challenge over the years. And with the advent of COVID, it couldn't quite run the way that it has in the past. This has been a wonderful uh, uptake on the event. To Holston Australia, I think you've provided your members with a wonderful opportunity to showcase and compete with their animals. And I guess it also gets you at home 
looking at your animals a little more, when you've got a competition to go in, uh, you think, well, which are my best two-year-olds or which are my best three-year-olds? And you get out and look at them more. And I think that does everybody at home a lot of good because it makes you analyze your animals as well. Uh, I, I'm just wrapped in the winners, but I'm wrapped in the whole competition. I think the animals that I've seen in this competition over the last few days when I've looked at them have been amazing. And uh, I can only say congratulations to every exhibitor in the competition and a big thank you to the sponsors and Holston Australia for running such a competition. It's been a privilege to judge it. Uh, hasn't been the easiest thing I've ever judged, but it's been a real privilege and I won't forget any of the animals uh, forever. They've been outstanding and again, thank you and I wish you all the best.